Right, well, here we are. I'm Matt Lina, and I am here to make a public service announcement. I know I normally don't uh, do these on the weekdays, these videos, but I think it actually bears saying, and I remember to say it now, so I'm going to say it now. I am going to tell you how to get a job in IT. You know, there are all these books on how to ace the coding interview. You know, there's a certain green book by a certain person who's interviewed God only knows how many people at Google or whatever. And now, the, but now the thing is, okay, everybody reads that book. And if everybody reads that book, that means everybody knows the answers to a particular canned set of questions. And so that makes that book both the standard and, in a sense, useless. Because now everybody knows that... Oh, everyone's reading that book, so I can't use any questions in that book to see if people know what's going on. And so what that means is that the only thing that's actually going to get you anywhere is knowing what's going on in general. Understanding how computers work. Now... Lots of people will say, okay, all I want is a job doing coding. I don't want to know how these computers work. I don't want to have to use assembly. I don't want to have to do machine code. I don't want to have to know any of that stuff. Well, you don't need to in order to write simple single-page single page web applications with the very, very basic backend. You don't need to know that stuff to do those little piddly tasks. But if you don't know that stuff, you're not going to be any better than anybody else and nobody's going to have a compelling reason to hire you over anyone else and when the economy turns down and people are downsizing, no one's going to have a reason to keep you over anybody else. So what that means is you're going to have to differentiate yourself from everybody else somehow. And the only way, or the only surefire way, besides... Well, a whole bunch of uh, illegal and otherwise inappropriate things is to actually know what you're doing. And how do you know what you're doing? Well, a good starting point is understanding how computers work on the most fundamental level, which is something that most people in the field cannot at the drop of a hat go and tell you. So how do you learn it? How do you differentiate yourself from everybody else? I happened upon a course. And for those of you who have read my core answers, you have probably already seen me talk about it and put a plug in for it. There's this course called NAND to Tetris. And it quite literally takes you from the very building blocks of computers, the NAND gates. And by the end of the course, you are able to, with all those NAND gates that you configured, with all the data flip-flops you put together, write your own Tetris program in a high-level language. I have never come across a single other book that is so comprehensive. And in bringing up Nanda Tetris, I've never come across so many people that are unwilling to do it. Even some of the most intelligent people I know are unwilling to do it. In fact, the furthest I've seen anybody get anyone that I've told to do this, the furthest I've seen anyone get is chapter 8. Now why? Well, first off, I'll tell you, chapter 8's a whole lot better than nothing. In fact, you 
know a significant proportion of what you need to know if you get all the way to chapter 8. But secondly, it's because it's actual work. And so many people don't want to actually put the work in. Or at least they don't want to go put the work in for something that's more than what other people are doing. Because heaven forbid we put in work that doesn't have an explicit and immediate payout. People don't view knowledge as an explicit and immediate payout. If you don't get paid for doing the Nanda Tetris course, you're not going to do the Nanda Tetris course, or at least that's the case with many people. The fact of the matter is, I know at least one, if not multiple people, that will straight up hire you if you've done Nanta Tetris. If you can prove to me that you've done Nanta Tetris, I will put in a good word for you. It is really a big differentiating factor amongst people. Now, it may not be the most efficient way of <clears throat> of, uh, of, of making an AL. It may not be the best way of doing every little thing. But if you go through this course, you will have a gestalt understanding of how computers work, how languages work, how data structures work. You will know the inner workings of things. And that means that nothing that people throw at you will take you by surprise. Nothing that people throw at you will be inherently difficult. There will be a learning curve, and that learning curve will be drastically shortened by the fact that you actually know how things work. So, I will encourage any of you that are seeking IT employment to do NAND to Tetris. You will be head and shoulders better than 98% of everybody else that interviews for the same position that you're interviewing. You will understand the nuts and bolts of the things that the people that are piddling around with coding interview questions and understanding things on a surface level have only piddled around with. NAND to Tetris will make you competent and NAND to Tetris will make you hireable. Even when the job market is bad and people would lose their jobs, which isn't admittedly happening right now. But when the time comes and when things are difficult for you, or if things are currently difficult for you, I highly suggest taking the Coursera course in two parts. Both of them are free unless you want to get some sort of credit and then you have to pay like 50 bucks for each of them. The book is 40 bucks on Amazon, which you may or may not use. But literally, for free, for nothing other than your time, if you so choose, you can do Nanta Tetris. I'm not getting paid for making this plug. I just want you to be good. I want you to be able to do what you need to do. And that's about all I have to say on the matter. Hope you guys uh, enjoy Nanda Tetris. Talk to you Saturday. Bye.